Hello and welcome back to another Lego Man Cave video. We have got a mega city update on this one. Lots and lots of changes. I know it's been a few days since I've posted, but it's been busy. So now, oh, the turtles will come in to say hello. You can see what we've been doing in the Lego City. Okay, so it's been a few days since I've done an update video or posted any video at all. So, I'm going to give you a quick run of what it looks like now. And now I'm going to try and do a bit of work on it to make it stand out a little bit more. That corner looks a bit better. I've sorted out the pathways, put the lampposts in sorted out the pathways a bit more still need to sort all this out finish the train station on each end finish decorating that side a bit more uh, build something here build something here try and fence this bit off so that these are two separate areas sort out that path sort out the market all right, so an hour and a half later, we're making some progress. You'll now see, as we look down the strip, this bit is tiled. We have a few trees in to see what it would look like. I've greened off some patches, put in the bus stops. This patch I'm leaving empty because I've got to do something with this. Puffed all down there some more trees grass the brown squares are where i'm going to put the trees put a little roadway here even though they're two different shades that's going to annoy me so obviously the bikes and the police car can come out uh finished down here tiled around the corner joined all this up so this looks a lot better put some green plate across here and across all the edges so that now these are a solid unit they don't fall apart that is now attached to that and obviously all this so it's starting to take shape still got a bit more to do though so here we are again a bit later we've got a lot more done so we got some more trees added we got bins added all the way down still got to make some more trees but yeah I've got a little mushroom uh where i'll we'll put the bins i've got a bin there i think i might need to put some on the other side oh there's one got one there got the marketplace set up so this corner is looking a hell of a lot better all the paths are done got some greenery got some fences topped off the market's in as i say absolutely epic uh tiled off the gaps between these finally put the sign back up a couple of random bushes at the moment i fenced off all round the uh, stadium and the roller coaster we've got a path in the middle so that's looking a lot better need some more greenery and stuff there over here the path's been completely redone got another little market over here the waterfall um, fountain and then put a bit of greenery leading up to the TARDIS as well so things are starting to take shape it doesn't look like i've done much but i've been at it for hours and i tell you what there's just one more thing i want to do before i go to bed now that looks a hell of a lot better it's amazing the difference adding a few cars and vans can actually make and bikes the roads absolutely look heaving the next step is obviously finish off some more trees add some people and then we're cooking with gas okay so i'm sat here playing with a couple of different tree designs trying to see what i can think of i'm not exactly a tree artist i mean i've got loads of these leaves 
which would work great, but they don't hold on properly. And to be honest, it's really, really frustrating. So I'm making the next best move. I'm trying something different. Uh, I've got a bit of an OCD kind of thing. So I need parts that actually match, which is easier said than done. Suppose I could probably try and put another green piece on the tops just to finish it off maybe. Don't know if it just makes it look more stupid, but here's a couple of trees. So I'm just going to keep on trying to work and make some more of these. Okay, so there's another random tree design I've just thought up. So I just kind of have a play around. Looks a bit odd. It's different. It's unique. Not quite sure how it's supposed to look in my head, but it works. Okay, so we've got a few different options of trees which I've just randomly made up. We've got the little spiky tree, three different shades of leafy tree, a triple slade, a slade, a triple shaded leafy tree, the random droopy tree, should we call it? Uh, the plain boring. These two I showed earlier, and not too bad. I've made that one one brick taller. This one I've just made up. So I've had to put these onto this because uh, they wouldn't stick onto them on their own. And then the really random ones. This one, not too bad. I could probably colourful it up, add some uh, flowers to them. But then speaking of colour, look at the state of that. So hopefully this will add a bit more colour into our city. So I think before I go ahead, I have in these drawers, I've got leaves, orange leaves, light green leaves. So, with all these, I might be able to either make one, some more trees, or two, decorate these a little bit more. It's mainly things like this, where that you can actually stick them in. So, I'm going to do that, and then the next time you see these trees, they'll be decorated and placed in and around the city. Okay, so here we have it. The trees have a hell of a lot more colour added to them now. We go all the way down. We've added a load of trees over to the theme park. I did a couple more bits over here. So I've done a bunch of flowers, some more spike plants, done those flowers as well, you know, the big bulky ones so I've done a few of those around uh, one tree's gone there another tree's gone there again if you look over here you'll see I've dotted some more random flowers around so it all looks a lot brighter which is exactly the kind of Thing we want really we don't want it all being the same and dull and boring so at least those colors pop so the next project at the moment uh, I think is to get some mini figures onto the city but again I'm not really in a rush to do that just yet I mean some parts I probably can so like over here maybe around there um, yeah, I suppose I could put a few figures out on some of the completed sections. Still, as I say, I've got all of this side I need to sort out. That bit's the only part that's done. Sorry, that bit there. Everything else has got to be sorted out. Still haven't expanded that. Again, it's on my to-do list. But yeah, I need to build these train stations, but I haven't got a clue how or what 
to do to do them because I also I've put these on as like little barriers for the train to stop but the problem is <laughs> the train doesn't stop it just rams straight through it so again it's another one of those I need to try and figure that out I am getting there slowly but surely I mean it's definitely starting to take shape still got that Avengers plane kind of landing looks like it's about to crash into a crowd of people at a Avengers show so that's not really good but yeah a few more figures will definitely spruce it up and as I say I definitely need to get a work on all of this but that will probably be more of a latter thing it does need doing but the problem I've got is every time I'm leaning over to do stuff I keep catching it like this school I've actually split off from there because two maybe three times I've dropped that on the floor now and broke it so like with these you wouldn't think it uh, zoom in these keep catching on my shirt and pulling off every bloody time it's a pain in the backside but we're we're learning we're learning we're getting there slowly i need to change that as well yet but again i haven't quite figured that side of it out when i add some more buildings but as i say i know i need a train station which the only way i can think of it at the moment i'm gonna have to have like a platform across here and then a unit that comes across so i can put like a barricade there and i don't know maybe a little shop or something but i don't want the train plowing straight through plus the fact that it's gonna have to go on that way to get onto the train so i could do stairs maybe coming up and getting onto the train but again i need it so you can see it from the back a bit like this but we'll figure it out and then the same down that end the, the thing that annoys me is I like to try and have it as realistic as possible. Now, realistically, if this train comes to here, any passengers that's on here are screwed. Because if they get off, they're going to fall into the water. Not only that, there's no doors on the train carriages. So the train is something I need to rebuild. But again, if we come... Yes, I know I've got a remote, so why am I pushing it? Because it's quicker to do that. So the only other thing I can think of is once I've rebuilt it, maybe if I just have the platform big enough for one carriage and then, I don't know. I know it's not actually being used, it's all imagination, but that can be for get on and get off this side, that can be for get on and get off down that side imagine that they jump through to get off the train <laughs> i don't know we'll figure it out but that is it for now right so three times i've done this outtake now because that microphone i just can't get the bloody thing to work but as i wanted to say this is everything we've got done for the city now i will add some more people on it eventually Possibly tomorrow, maybe when my cousins come round, I might let the little ones have a go of putting some figures here and there. But I just want to say to everybody that's got me over the 1,000 subscribers, everybody that's liking, commenting, sharing the videos, thank you all so very much. Now we've got over the 1,000 subscribers, I've got the 4,000 watched hours to get, which I think I'm only at 221. So I've got a pump out a few more videos try and get some more watch time built up i've been working on trying to get some sponsors thank you to ballistic bricks for giving me the advice on how to go about that so i've messaged a load i haven't really had any replies back as of yet but i am working on it eventually we will be getting some sort of sponsored videos it might mean we might get some new sets in the city as well fingers crossed we can only hope so make sure you like subscribe Hit the bell. Thank you all very, very much for watching. Bye-bye.